In this video you will learn about resolving merge conflicts in VS Code. And in every single project we are working with Git and we are committing our files to remote repository. This is totally fine, but sometimes you can be in the situation where you are merging your feature branch, for example to master or develop, and you have some conflicts. It can be conflicts either with your code on that branch or some other developer did some changes which Git can't resolve by itself. At this moment we are getting a merge conflict and VS Code has interface to resolve these conflicts quite easy. So here as you can see I am in console and I want to merge a feature branch inside this branch. This is why I am writing git merge. And here will be a name of the branch. I'm hitting enter and as you can see I'm getting auto merging conflict and they have some conflicts in the files. It is not really comfortable to resolve conflicts inside the console. This is why we are opening VS Code. As you can see the only difference from normal interface I have on the right this button resolve in merge editor. But first of all I want to open the tab with git. As you can see on the left in view we can select source control or just hit command shift G and this is what we see. So as you can see we are in merge state because here we see merge changes. So we need to click on our merge changes to see them in our file. And this is how it looks like. As you can see in our file we have this notation with arrows and head and equal sign. This is a typical notation of Git, it is not really related to VS Code, but it helps VS Code to understand what we need to do. As you can see here, this line is written inside Git. This is what feature branch we are trying to merge in our branch in a head. And VS Code additionally provides for us information that this is our current change and this is incoming change, which actually means if you are merging the branch in the current branch, then this feature branch is incoming. And as you can see on the top, we have four different possibilities, accept current change, accept incoming change, accept both changes and compare changes. So first of all, you must understand inside Git there is no magic. With accepting current change, it will simply take this part. As you can see, our head is a current change. This is what we had on our branch where we are trying to merge. Under equal sign, we have a part which is related to incoming change. This will only be there if we are clicking accept incoming change. Additionally, we can click accept both changes and then this part of the code and this part will be just there together and VS Code will remove just all these signs. And the last one here is compare changes. So first of all, let's click on it. As you can see here, now it looks a little bit different. It shows the differences between incoming changes and our current change. It is really nice to use such view if you don't really understand what was changed. Because if we are looking on the view just like this, it is not highlighting what exactly was changed. We just see here how our code looks like. So again, we can click here, accept current change. It just takes code from the current branch. We can also click accept incoming branch. We are getting a code from our feature branch. Then accept both will simply leave both parts of our code. So basically you simply select what you need and you are golden. Now you are going to the next change and next change until you fix all your files. This is what we had in VS Code previously, but now it is even better. Because here we can click on the right Resolve in Merge Editor. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have lots of advanced courses on different web technologies where we create real applications and prepare for the interviews. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's jump back into the video. And this is a special tool to resolve our conflicts. So as you can see here, our file bed table on the left is activated. This is where what we see on the right, this merge, is only related to this specific file. And here we have three different sections. On the left we see incoming, this is our feature branch, current, this is our main branch, and here on the bottom is a result, which essentially means we are not really interested in these two parts because this is the only thing which is interesting for us. So we're scrolling here our file, you can see our changes, and when we click on specific change, it will highlight all segments. 
So now let's try to resolve our changes here. This is our first problem. As you can see, we are getting the message no changes accepted. This happens because we didn't select here on the top either incoming or accept current. Let's say that we need incoming change. I'm hitting here. And then as you can see, we can't select this part anymore, but we still can accept current. If we are clicking accept current, then this part will also be here, which actually means it is similar to accept both. As you can see, after this code was moved here, we're getting a status that this code is from incoming and we can remove it if needed. But let's say this part is just fine. We can see on the right that we have two conflicts remaining, so we can just click on it and we're jumping to the next conflict. Same stuff here, we need to select what do we want, accept incoming, no, we won't accept current, let's click here, now here we can see that our code is current, we have just one conflict remaining, I am clicking on it, here is our change, and here additionally as you can see we are getting accept combination on both sides, let's try to click here, and as you can see we are getting a combination of changes from this part, incoming and current. And as you can see here, the status is current plus incoming, and we can either remove current or remove incoming. As you can see, zero conflicts remaining, so we can just click complete merge. As you can see on the left, this file is resolved correctly, and we can see how it was changed, and now we can commit it as always. So we can just click here commit, and we're good to go. So this is how you're using merge tool inside VS Code. But what about debugging your code inside VS Code? If you are interested in it, I already covered that in this video, so don't forget to check it out.